Uh, my name is Devjani Roy. I'm an industry practitioner in the field of human resource for the last 27 years. Uh, till 2019, I was an active member of the corporate. Uh, have worked in multiple industries like Bharti, HCL Tech, Bentley Systems, Kony, and was last the CHRO of the Fortis Group of Hospitals. TMU, as I said, um, is, is a wonder world. It's, it's a lovely campus as soon as you enter the gates. I was especially, especially impressed by the balance created between uh, the amount of importance given to academic buildings vis-a-vis -vis the sports, uh, you know, areas. Welcome to Tithankar Mahavir University, ma'am. Uh, we took you around the university and I'm sure you enjoyed the ride. Uh, would you like to express your opinion about what you felt about Tithankar Mahavir University? So, uh, like every time that I go into one of these um, off-site campuses, I call them off-site campuses because they're not into a university area of a big city. I am always fascinated that, you know, there's a city side to it and the moment the doors open into the campus, it's a different world. And Tirthankar also did not disappoint me. It was, it, it's like a mega city inside a gated community, uh, beautifully constructed and somebody told me it's about 140 um, acres of land which is which still gives you enough opportunity to build more in the future and uh, yes a lovely a lovely proportion of academia a lot of nice academia pools a lot of buildings beautiful I think landscaping uh, especially those red flowers interspersed with the uh, bougainvilleas and those were those beautiful ones uh, sports has got its importance, which is what I liked. I also noticed that you know your cameras uh, continuously interspersed the girls' hostels at regular intervals, so security is adequately taken care of, which is so so important for a place like this. So uh, you know it becomes a talking point, so that you know when you're talking to people about TMU, you can always say that you know they've got a balance of all of this. So I think uh, I, I was quite impressed, yeah. Thank you, ma'am, and I'm sure our students are also quite impressive to you as well. What do you feel about our students? Well, uh, first and foremost, they have to be commended for the kind of patience that they demonstrated. It's not easy to come in first, be, first thing in the morning, be herded together inside when we were all actually having breakfast outside. That wasn't fair, actually, because, you know, they, they be made to wait like that, but I can understand for the sake of a program, you have to do things within a certain discipline. And to wait till now and to even continue after this, uh, kudos to them. I think they have that sense of discipline inbred into them. Uh, looked a very vibrant sort and the kind of questions that did come across the program obviously talked about the fact that they were very tuned into the reality today. Um, a little more vibrancy, a little more, uh, I think, outwardness. You know, especially when you have so many industry practitioners today, show yourself out and reach out to us and, you know, that's how mentoring is done. That's how connections are built, uh, network is created and that's very important for today's students. So I think that is one area which requires a little bit of a polish. Definitely ma'am, if I could say something about our students, they love to learn mm. and definitely uh, all your advice will be a learning experience for them. Mm. One last advice to mm. them uh, from your side ma'am. So, uh, make the best of every opportunity that you get in life. I think that's important because today's world is a very different world. Exposure is immense. Uh, you know, you've got your doors open, whether it's the social media, whether it's every kind of opportunity that you have with corporates, with social syndromes, with NGOs. You know, the world's the limit today. So, the only way a person can limit is if you don't reach out. So, I would say that's an opportunity denied. I'd, li I'd love to see the students go all out, you know, make a mark for themselves and at the end of the day stay basic, stay grounded because there's no reason to fly high, that day will come but you have to start small and grounded. So if they can do that, uh, sky's the limit. Thank you ma'am, very wise words, thank you so much. Thank you.